Hi guys, Shazad Rahman here from Medical Matics and today I'll be talking about myocardial infarction. So as you guys know, the heart pumps blood all around the body, uh, but the heart itself, it does need a blood supply and that's done with the help of the coronary artery circulation. Sometimes those coronary arteries can get blocked and that's what causes a myocardial infarction. So I'm sure we all know our little friend here, Bob. We met Bob in Muhammad's video about retinal artery occlusion and in Mohsen's video about stroke. So today, Bob has, you know, he's packed on a couple of pounds since the last couple of videos. Um, Bob is a heavy smoker. He smokes about, let's say 40 cigarettes a day and uh, he eats a lot of oily foods. He goes to the chippy a lot with his boys. So as a result, Bob has hypertension, diabetes mellitus, and his cholesterol is through the roof. And as you can see, Bob is quite obese. So these are known as modifiable risk factors. Um, there's also a thing called non-modifiable risk factors. And these are risk factors that are not in our control. So that is age, being male, and also having a familial history of cardiovascular disease. So one day Bob was at the chippy and he had a sharp pain in the left side of his chest. And I mean really sharp. This pain started radiating towards his left arm and up towards his jaw. He was also sweating, he had shortness of breath, he felt nauseous. You know, Bob just was not in a good state. So his friends brought him to the hospital. And in the hospital, what they wanted to do for him to check if he had a heart attack. So when Bob comes in, what do you think the first thing they're gonna do is? No, it's not an ECG. The first thing you need to do is your ABCs. Don't forget that always, no matter what, it's always your ABCs. Then after that, they did a 12 lead ECG and in the ECG it shows he had ST segment elevation so if I can try and draw that out here so this over here is his ST segment and as you can see it's elevated Bob was diagnosed with something called a STEMI STEMI stands for ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. So once they said, okay, his ST segment is elevated, we're gonna do bloods and in the bloods, we're gonna look at his cardiac markers, which are troponin T and I and CKMB. So usually in uh, a myocardial infarction, troponin T is the main thing, and so, sorry, troponin T and troponin I are the main things that we look at. They will be elevated, and these stay elevated for about seven to eight days after. CKMB will also be elevated, but that only stays elevated for about 48 hours. So CKMB is a good tool uh, to check for you know, repeat heart attacks after heart attacks. So once, okay, they said, Bob has got elevated troponin T and troponin I, his CKMB is also elevated. Then we need to move on to his management. And just to 